And now from cats to dogs in a very special reunion last night at DIA. Our partners at the Denver Post shot this video of Marine Corps vet Matt Foster from Denver and Mick, a black lab. They worked together on a tour of duty in Afghanistan. When Matt came home, Mick stayed behind. But after a year apart, Matt's adoption papers were approved and Mick arrived on a plane and the emotional reunion captured here on video, man and his best friend together again. And we are so happy right now to have Matt and Mick live here on The Now. Matt, welcome to the show. Thanks. Good First of here. all, thanks for your service. Appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank Mick, you. Mick, thank you for your service as well, my man. Welcome back home. Gosh, what have the last 24 hours been for you like? <sighs> They've been crazy. Emotional, okay. but uh, for the most part, it's been, it's been fun. We've hung out, played with toys, introduced him to his new uh, sister, my roommate's dog. Right. And uh, just had a blast together. So when Mick was coming to the airport, did, uh, did he recognize you? Did he immediately say, there's my man, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'd, I'd like to think so. I think he did, but it was a little hectic, chaotic. Right. So it's a lot of uh, attention for him he's never seen before. So, right. But once we got home, he recognized me for sure. Matt, these dogs are special. What exactly do military dogs do? Um, it, it's a wide variety. Uh, this specific dog, they call them IDDs, and they search out uh, improvised explosive devices. And um, they're trained on the scent, and they're good to use because uh, Labrador retrievers can be trained off leash. So right. we can send him out um, a great distance ahead of us, and he can protect us. That's amazing. I, I saw a stat where each military dog saves the lives of possibly hundreds of American soldiers. Mm -hmm. Psychologically, what's the bond you have with a military dog over there? <laughs> Um, well, this particular dog right here, uh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he's blood. Yeah. Um, just physically, emotionally, everything, these dogs help keep you together and keep you going because it's a, a stressful environment and you're there with your buddies and you never know what's going to happen and, and they're always happy and they're always trying to protect you and keep you going and um, it's a very strong, deep right. bond that I have. Uh, <laughs> Mick is so calm right now. Look at him. Do you think he's happy uh, to, be, to be back home? I think so, yeah. <laughs> he can be a dog for once in his life. So. Yeah. Um, and tell me a little bit about uh, Mission K-9 Rescue. I, I mean, you came back, but Mick stayed, right? And so now we're trying to get all military dogs that are over there back home when their tour is over? Right, right. Um, originally, I actually didn't know about Mission K-9 Rescue. And right. uh, a friend of mine that's a trainer at um, K-2, the, the facility that he's from, right. um, put me into contact with Chris over at Mission K-9 Rescue. And... Uh, when I spoke to her, she kind of gave me the rundown, and basically they're trying to do this. They're trying to reunite right. the dogs with their handlers um, because it's very difficult for us to adopt these dogs. As you can see, it's been a year. Right. Um, and they raised all the money, paid for the flight, and right. she personally went and picked him up, paid for the health certs that he needed for the flight, and right. brought him to me and handed him to me personally. So everything that Mission Canine Rescue does is absolutely amazing, and um, they deserve all the attention in the world. So. And you're trying to adopt another dog too, right? Correct, yes. Um, I had two dogs while I was over there. Yeah. Um, this guy right here and then his sister, Macy. Uh, okay. She's a purebred chocolate lab. Wow. But uh, she got sold to the Air Force, so I'm just happy that she's still doing her job and saving people's lives. But uh, hopefully one day I can bring her home and take care of both of them. So, so Mick is seven years old, mm -hmm. did four tours of duty. You think uh, this pup is ready to enjoy life back here in Colorado and relax a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I mean, even when I was working with him over there, he was always in a great mood. But right. just seeing him over the last 24 hours, being able to relax and Look not at this. be micromanaged. Exactly, yeah. Right. He's just, that's all, it's all he's done. And then I've let him play with toys and just do whatever he wants. He, he doesn't really know how to handle it. Right. Um, not that's in a bad great. way, but he's just, it's, it's, right. it's good for him. So, Mick, we are so glad to have you back home and here on The Now as well. And Matt, again. Thank you for coming thank in. Thank you very much. I and again, it. from all of us at the now, thanks for your service. Thank and you. We're glad to see you back, man. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, we'll be back with more on the now right after this. Trafnado is here. Have you heard about this, Matt? Trafnado? All right. We'll stick around. We got some solutions. Stay with us.